<laughs> book club. Hey, it's Dan from One Man Book Club, and I am pumped to share with you, just in time for Halloween, Empty Smiles by Katherine Arden. This is book four in the Small Spaces series. Small Spaces, Dead Voices, Dark Waters, Empty Smiles. All by Katherine Arden. All really, really cool, really, really spooky middle grade, uh, middle grade stories. So, um, I know Katherine Arden best from the Winter Night Trilogy. It's her fantastic historical fantasy series set in long ago Russia. It's a wonderful story. It's full of amazing characters, connections to myths and, and traditions. And while it's not a scary story, there are some legit moments throughout when you won't want to be reading alone in the dark. So all of that little intro to say that Katherine Arden knows how to be creepy. It's really cool and the proof is in this fun middle grade series. It began, like I said, with small spaces back in 2018. It continued with dead voices in 2019 and dark waters in 2021. And finally, just a few weeks ago, empty smiles in 2022. Now, in the spirit of R.L. Stein, these books are intentionally, purposefully, skillfully, and truly spooky. I was super impressed with small spaces. I was freaked out by dead voices. I was surprised by the story in Dark Waters, and I was really and truly creeped out by empty smiles. I was surprised by this, um, that, that small spaces, it was, like I, I picked it up on a whim because I liked um, the Winter Night Trilogy, and I picked it up um, and, and was pleasantly pleased. It was a middle grade story that actually made me want to read, made me want to read with a light on. Um, in that first book, we meet our heroes. It's a sixth grade, some sixth grade kids, and their sixth grade class goes on a fall field trip to enjoy a corn maze, only to discover that the farm they go to is cursed and that this really, really rotten bad guy called the Smiling Man is pulling all the strings. I'm never, ever, ever going to look at scarecrows the same way again. In Dead Voices, book two, our heroes confront the ghosts hiding in a haunted orphanage turned ski lodge while trapped during a winter snowstorm. And then in Deep Waters, it's set on a boat in the springtime and it was super unexpected. It was quite, it wasn't quite like the, the scare fest of Dead Voices, but I loved the direction the story took when the kids and their parents were shipwrecked and marooned on this mysterious island that doesn't show up on any maps. But on the island, it's just them, a creepy guy with an ax and a giant uh, lake monster who sinks boats on the lake and hunts people on the land. I didn't expect in that book, Deep Water, I didn't expect that there would be this giant cliffhanger that had me beyond anxious for book four, Empty Smiles. And now that I've read Empty Smiles and I finished the series, I can say definitely Catherine Arden knows her stuff when it comes to middle graders and being spooky and being scary and being accessible to the target audience. The clowns? <laughs> Those clowns are truly unnerving. My only complaint, the conflict ended very abruptly in book four and we didn't get the like grand confrontation that I was really hoping for, but it did end well and that's the big deal. So if you're looking for good, clean, creepy fun, you're really, really going to enjoy all four books of the Small Spaces series. Aside from the spookiness, there's no content concerns. The entire series is perfect for brave 12 year olds and up. But it is spooky, and so if you or your child cannot handle spooky, probably stay away, but it's spooky fun. So uh, take that into consideration and, and give the Small Spaces series a consideration this Halloween season. Happy reading, everyone.